Hi back again. We start with next house. So this time we built that house here. Let's start. We see the front. We have two stages, and at the back we have three stages. So we need a three-stage house. Add mesh cube. Scale down. Scale set. Good. It should be three stages. So, edit mode with tap. Control R to make loops. Middle mouse button roll. Left to accept. Then we need here both materials, the red material, so we give their material, we have white one, and plus bibliotheque material, red. We take a face selection, get the middle part, make it red. So we have the base mesh, and the little thing is mystery on this house. That is the front roof is so, and the other is so. So two different styles of that. But who cares? We make it. So we scale Y a little. Then we make here the loop for D1. part of the roof and then for the other part of the roof so when we now get that up we have that form that we need the only problem is that that here isn't correct almost look first Must be complete here down. Okay. Down, but there. So there's only one way we make a second loop. Then bring the edges down there. This one, that one. Bring down. So it looks in real. Mystery house, but. They build it so, so we build it so too. Good. Then, next part. We get here these windows with a little bending on the top. So, we look in our folder here. There we have such. Oh, Shift D, make a copy, bring it there. Grab it there, scale it down. So that is okay. Then we delete one of them. The other ones we get a little bit by the side. And they are all from other houses that we build it. I've told you that. And then I don't must make it all new every time. That makes it much faster to build here such. So Shift D, make a copy there. And Shift D, bring one down there. So that are the holes for the windows. So we have that. Uh, that middle ones must be white. So we give you plus uh, material white sign. So that is our cutter object to cut to the house. Now we only need 
to position that correctly. So that should be the big ones. But they have much space, more space there. And all in all, there's a little bit too big, I think. So, they are there. Then we take these ones and bring them there. And that one down there. Good. That is that. Now we must object apply a rotation scale of the cutter object. Now the house 2 object apply rotation scale. File save. Now we take the house. Now we need the name of the cutter object the circle. And we go to the house, take the boolean. Say it should be object circle. And it should be the operation difference. Apply that. Now the windows are covered in. So this side we have. Now the front of the house. File save. That's the front of the house. See two little windows on the top. Two windows in the middle and here four big glass windows of what you what it should be good so we have to cut the windows in so we take here such light window stuff bring it to the house Now we need the back side of the house, so I rotate the house, rotate set 180 degrees. And the roof part, I must look how that looks there. Little tiny things there. And then comes the big ones in the first stage. Remember that uh, here only two stages uh, exist. So that means here comes the big windows. So that we can delete. That we can bring near to. Not too near. And scale that in the hole. Give them red color, so give here a plus and material zero one and select all with A and accept that. Good, that should be that window part there. This one. And we see there comes this side panel there. So I think we can make them a little bit far away, such like that. And the same we have for the top roof part, two little windows, but there is only on the side one and in the middle of one. So uh, edit mode, select all, shift D, scale down, but there we can bring them near and take them both more in the middle there such like that let's look again yeah, a little bit not as high as the other so scale set a little good now we have changed the form, so we have to object apply rotation scale. Uh, the same is with the house itself. Object apply rotation scale, get the name of the cutter object, this cube. 
spaghetti house, take the boolean, say cube, operation difference, apply. So that windows are cut it in two. Here are the three windows there. So we make here with loops. So we need a side loop, two, but on each edge only one. One there, one there, pick one on the top, and then three stages in there. So that means we can take that one and dissolve them, dissolve edge. Now we should try to make their three parts. So we can take the knife in a toolbar and cut here down. And there. So, and we need a little wooden stuff there. So, when we take there, some and that one. Are there three or four? There are four. So I go back. Four. So we only need here a loop, there a loop. So then here another loop, there another loop, and there. So we have that. Only must readjust that a little. So such like that. And there should be frame around the windows. So we get here in our frames. There. 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 And this one. Good, here we only need different materials, but I want to make it a little bit depth. So, take here. That part. And make that deeper. So extrude and bring them to the Y. So we have more this 3D look. And then the windows itself should be a little bit deeper too. So extrude and bring them back a little. Good. There are the doors. We have cut it in all. File. Save. For the back we need this both little roofs. I have them from the first house that we built. It. There you can get that. But it is on the other side. So we rotate set 180 again to turn the house. You can turn that little roof too like you would So, go there, into, and we take two of them, so shift D, and have that one too. Good, we have this there, file, save. Now we need um, windows for this stuff, and um, you see the windows are two deep into so we bring them a little bit to the Y such like that and then we hit X 
to delete only the faces. Now it is open and we can see in the house. Same we make with the other side. Take the faces and bring them a little to the Y and X delete only faces. House is open up now. File save as new version number twenty seven two. Good. Then this Windows has no interior, only that little rectangle there. What a frame outside. So we do the same. We go to solid mode. Here comes only frame in. So we take here at mesh plane, rotate X90, scale down, bring it in front and scale them down scale set so then we need a frame so we go edit mode face selection, extrude scale, so we can make the frame there and scale set a little and X delete only faces so we have that then we take that whole thing and extrude back That is the frame pour into, and then we need one side of that window. This one, maybe um, that must be Shift D, be a singular object in this all, and um, yeah, we have to go and close that with F extrude back that should be our class that is behind that all good so we bring that into and shift D place it on all this stuff there and I need another one Shift D, the frames we bring into, in front of the windows, so Shift D two times. Then we need the outer frame, with the red stone material there, so that means we delete here one thing with vertices, we have now that left here. Uh, we X delete only faces, so we have only the outside, and then we extrude and scale that for the outer frame there. I think that one can be okay, so we bring it up that we have the same thickness on each side there, and then we bring here the down edge up to so that should be that frame thing there we take that and extrude that also then we have that outer frame we now position them in front then all D Wow, it happens. 
let's see here. And we take Shift D, bring it there, and again to bring it there. Good. This window is there. May you ask why that is turned? That is because the normals are not correct, so we get to shading, recalculate normals, and then it is the same color as the rest here, normal arrow 2, but who cares, file, save. So, uh, at the second stage we need a um, normal window, but the rest is the same as in the other ones. in principle is the same at all these windows there on this side so we can take here that one shift D and place it there too but only scaling that is the frame And we need the class and the outer frame. So that's the outer frame, Shift D, bring him there, scale down. And Shift D, play them there too. And at least shift D down there. Scale that down and positioning. Good. Here the difference is that we have here a cross into in the frame part. That means we can take here two loops scale X and take here two loops scale set and then we have that cross there so we take face selection get this face extrude bring it there and that top one we extrude and bring it down there so we have that cross window there. Shift D plays it there too. Then we need the class itself. So the class, Shift D, bring it there, scale down, scale up. That's good. And we bring it behind the cross part. Uh, here, we bring it a little bit more in so that the cross comes more in front. Uh, so we have to do it here too. We need here the shift the, the class too. and for the little one down under two. Oh, that here isn't in front, so we bring it in front. There we need this window, Shift D. Mm -hmm. We have two, that is bad. We must open up that to dissolve. Then we get the window. Scale it down. And position it into. Then we need their frame too, but with more spikes. So Shift D, bring it there.
Actually, I will make two spikes more. So, Control R, make two loops, scale, set. Make in the middle one, and Control R again, two loops, scale, set. And then we bring the faces to the right. Extrude, bring them there. So we have that window type too. So all window types there. It has a little bit adjustment there. But we will get it, I'm sure. Do it. File. Save. Sorry, I must clean my nose. at 180 degrees, so it'll look from the other side. File, save. So we have here the back side. There was the front side of the real house. And you see we have a much spiky window there. Three, six. So we use a window. We have that one, that have four, and we need six. So in principle, we make them simply longer, and that's it. So we take word selection, with background selection, B for border selection, we need two more. So we can Take that part, shift D, and bring it down there. Then we make the class itself longer. Bring them here in the middle. And scale set. So we have that window type. P to separate the selection out as a single window. And from them we need two on each side. So we bring it to the house. Scale it down. We need two of them we say. So shift D, make another one. Then we join them both together and scale that down and bring that here to fit. So there we have it and scale set. Good. So we have that, then we take GD, place one there too. Then you have seen file save that we have there, this uh, wooden parts there. I take that from the big mansion house that we made, there's that one here, and take that. So GD bring them to the house
Kill down. Kill them there. So, that's it. We bring them on the side. Why a little? That is too big there all. Good. Then, shift D, bring one there too. And, shift D, we have to mirror them. So, we take object, mirror, interactive mirror, move it away, then it's turned. Shift D to place one there. Then here on the left and right side we need one. So shift D, we go there and scale that down. But here there must be a little bit bigger, so scale X. So we have that. and take that shift D to the other side and mirror that object mirror interactive hold middle mouse button move the mouse let it go on and left click to accept good so we have that there but no windows in so we have to do there little windows in I don't know which windows they have there. Who six, six counted one. So that is like we have it here. No, it doesn't. One count too much. So we can delete the down stage. Then we have six counted. Wow. That was too much because the class is marked with. That shouldn't be. So, X, delete words. That can come up. And here, that must be closed. So, that is closed, they are only, the brown plastic must come. So, that is the window, six counted one now, for the top stage. Scale them down. Scale set, that is the window. Is that out the room? It looks so. That makes me uh, So that has to be into, not out. Wow. Good. So it is now into GUD, place there the other window too, and that must be then a little bit more back. Okay. So that is done, and the rest is only texturing, but the house is ready built it in that moment. So file, save, and we see us then in the next tutorial to texture that complete. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.